so much we could make. How will it turn out? OMG, we're coming over! Open up, we're here! Okay, you're yelling like so loud. Hey, Hello, we're back! Hello, we are back, OMG! OMG, we we're coming are coming over, over to someone else's place. Who is that someone? Jocelyn Davis from Clever Style. Hey guys, welcome back to Beauty Break. You have seen her in Beauty Break and all their other fun shows with her partner in crime, Lily. But I'm also <laughs> gonna use these. OMG, we bought a house. We redid our home. We brought you along with that journey. Now we're going over to other people's homes and OMG, we're coming over. Guys, make sure and subscribe. We're trying to get to a million subscribers by the end of the year. One million. We need you to subscribe. Click on that button, please, please. And if you subscribe, you're gonna automatically be entered to win a $10,000 room transformation from us. We are going to come to one lucky winner and give them a $10,000 transformation. And if you wanna see what that's gonna be like, keep watching. Keep watching. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get into it. Jocelyn. Wow. Welcome to my house. My whole house is this one room. Yeah, I'm freaking out. I'm so glad you guys are here. Basically, our Clever fans reached out to her and were like, Jocelyn needs your help. And I got a DM on social media from her offering to decorate my place. The angels from heaven came down and here we are. I was just in a rush to move. Like I needed to move ASAP. Like I thought like, oh, I'm gonna find this like huge perfect apartment. And when I saw the building and the view is amazing. The view is amazing. But it's still really weird. Like the idea of someone walking into your house and being like, welcome to my bedroom. Like I'm not about that life. We got to fit her bedroom, her dining room and her living room in this small apartment. You want to entertain in your bedroom. But no, I don't want people to know. You just right, keep that right. the closet door closed and make people think that's your bedroom? Yeah. yeah, like it's over there. And they just think that that's like your portal to another land. Exactly. Jocelyn actually installed a Murphy bed. It looks like a armoire that comes down into a lay down bed. You can put it back up so you have more space in the room. So when you walk into the room when the bed's folded up, you just think she has a giant portal to Narnia. <laughs> you have to be high energy all the time, yeah. all day filming. You want to come home to like a neutral calming space. Like you don't want exactly. some like loud red accent wall. No. No. I do want to stick with neutral tones, but I do also want to add a pop of color, something really peaceful and beautiful and feminine, like me. I believe in you guys. Oh, let's do it. <laughs> This paint is called Snowbound. I guess is a way to keep you cool in those hot summer days. I guess. So basically we're getting rid of the like doo-doo brown. But I feel like a lot of people encounter this in rentals mm -hmm. is like this like yellowy white. Right now the walls look a little doo-doo-y. It's got this weird brown paint on it. This looks like, I can't believe it's not better. Yes. Which is one step away from plastic <laughs> and you shouldn't eat. I've never painted. What? Ever? Well, I mean like, no, <laughs> you got it. Oh my God, this is so exciting. My parents would never let me do this. No, <laughs> is that it? Ah, no, no, stop, no, stop. No, I'm already no, ruining it. No, no, Lord, tell me when to stop. Stop, stop. stop. Okay. <laughs> so intense. So I just put it in there? Just put it in there. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, Look at you. Look how you got the <laughs> This is my new fitness video. It's W painting with lunches. <laughs> OMG. <laughs> oh my gosh, it is insane and mind blowing what one coat of paint can do to like change your room and change your life. You guys, I'm just gonna be here doing the Jocelyn Lund. Yes. Okay, up. so now that you're really good at painting, I so have good. an art project we can do together. I'm so ready. Great. Let's, Let's do it. it. Look how big it is. I love it. It's like a magic, <laughs> like we're gonna cast a spell in this place or something. We are spray painting three frames. I could only find black at the store for the size of paper that I wanted to use for the art. So we're gonna easily transform them into white with some spray paint. Hey, Give Kate. Me Bobby Bobby Boo. What? Who is the genius that bought black frames with the goals of just paint them white? Kate got three black frames and then immediately started to paint them white. <sighs> it was because they only had this size in black. Buy one, get the other one for a penny. A penny? <laughs> These days. Right now, Mr. Kate and I are working on some custom art together because clearly we're talented artists. That's a lie. She is. I'm not. She likes abstract art, which I think is great when you're trying to get that sort of spa-like vibe. If we do a triptych, which I say let's just paint three. A trip what? <laughs> a series of three art of pieces any, okay. that, that correspond with each other. Okay, I love this. 
You can let the brush kind of like run out. Yeah. Yes, yes. Ugh. I'm gonna start an art career and the one thing I would tell you guys is to just take the brush and just let it go all the way up until it flicks. Oh. All you need is a paintbrush and some paint and some paper and you can create something totally beautiful that you feel like really connected to and a part of. A triptych, it was three paintings that tell one story hanging side by side, a triptych. <laughs> Cheers, darling. Cheers. <laughs> we are sitting at and on the table set. I love this set because it fits perfectly on my balcony. Yes. It's so little. Let's just keep this. Love that. I love and it. let's spray paint it with a nice coat of white spray paint. It'll really bring in more of a beachy, classy vibe. Have you spray painted before? Yes. Yes, I have. Yes. I saw that in your eyes. I have. But you looked guilty about it. I'm a huge graffiti artist. <laughs> Don't know if you guys You're know. <laughs> yeah, my name is J Dog. That's what I leave everywhere. <laughs> 10 inches away, you don't want any bubbles or dripping, which I learned, and it was easy, and it looks so much better. It's crazy. That is good for the first coat. We'll let that dry. So good. And do a second coat. And then we have the frames here. For our artwork. For our artwork. You have your weird but adorable little wet bar. That's so sweet of you. Right? It's just weird. This is a perfect little station to display some awesome thrift store fine glasses. I know that you want to entertain. I do, I do. I wanted to get you some awesome bar wear. Ooh! When I opened it, it was like a treasure trove. I think Oh my gosh, look at this square right? bottom. Fast these are so cool. They're a little dirty, we'll definitely so wash clean. these. No, it's vintage, don't clean them. <laughs> this was a $3.99 silver plated tray. I think there's a snack left on here, or some <laughs> cigarettes. I love thrift store finds. You can go and get some really quality items for super inexpensive. 99 cents. They're so cute. Do you want to have a tea party? I know, Joey, you're going to need that. Think he's there? Yeah. Yes. Oh my gosh, this is an ice bucket. bucket. An ice bucket with a little handle. Really Goodwill. You really got all yeah. this at the Goodwill? Yeah. Ugh. All of this, $35. Shut up. I know. All right, but yeah. So you're, you're gonna, go... gonna go. You're gonna go. I'm gonna go I gotta go to work. Gotta go to Clever. Go to work. You know, gotta go hold down the fort. Yeah. And, um, and when you come back, it'll be. Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> Cheerio. Now it's time to get sweaty. Keep going. Yeah, I'm so tired now. Ugh. The finish line. If you are in a small space studio, don't shy away from full size items. You don't need to decorate with miniature items in a small space. It's gonna make the space feel smaller. So you designed this? How do, I, don't, I don't get it, but this thing is amazing. Well, I customized it. You pick the shape that you want. Come tell me about it. I'm just gonna sit right here and I'm gonna tell you a story about a custom couch. Our sponsor Joybird is hooking us up with this great custom couch. The cool thing about Joybird, and this is a great tip for you guys, is you can actually make your own furniture. So customize everything to your particular taste, which is super cool. So you'll notice I picked those dark wood legs, which is the same color as the Murphy bed. They ship it to you for free, you have free returns. You got a 365 day guarantee. This seat is so bountiful. Look at my feet, don't touch the floor. <laughs> Joey, I'm small. Small is when you are an adult human who's just small. Kate's my little small. Look at her feet don't even touch the ground. Yeah, I'm you small. This small is headed to the kitchen. Take that, take, take me. No, take. you're big, you can walk. Kate, are you good with just about this high right here? Yeah. What are you doing? I'm sanding down this shelf because the edges are pretty splintery and rough. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. Look at it, look at it, look at it. It's rose gold beauty. Take it in, take it in. A lot of times in rentals, you have vertical blinds, which are really easy to take off, store them under your bed, put up some nice curtains, an instant transformation. She doesn't have a lot of space, but she does have a little open space under her window, which we could transform into some sort of workable countertop situation. Joey and I came up with this awesome shelf situation. Store-bought piece of wood that's already cut to size and shelf brackets, and this is going to become her extra counter space, plus a surface for her to sit, eat breakfast at, and also work at. I love marble contact paper. It's not gonna cover the sides, so I'm just painting out the sides of the shelf with some pink paint, and then going over the top with this contact paper, which is vinyl. Just peel the back away as you go and make sure that you don't have any air bubbles. You can trim off the excess with a nice, sharp craft knife. No workstation is complete without some storage. Kate didn't screw the screws all the way. She's got a screw loose. You got a screw loose. So I found this awesome wire basket that is easy to mount on the wall. Another great space saving solution. And this is just a 
nice, simple, natural fiber rug that is super cute and fits the space perfectly. One of the things that I definitely want to bring into this space are plants. Greenery is just really good vibes and it'll really make this space feel lush and welcoming. So to make these plants extra special, we got some terracotta pots. All you need is some normal latex paint. I know, you've probably been in there for a while. It's getting a little cramped up in there, isn't it? Doesn't that feel good? Stretch your leg. We got these really cool industrial sconces that we're gonna put on the sides of our Murphy bed that are just gonna bring in A, more light, B, more style, C, see me hang them. This is a rental, so we're not gonna be putting in new junction boxes in the wall. Wall-mounted plug-in sconces are a great trick to bring in new fixtures in areas where you didn't think you could have them. And then I need your help taping off the fixture because we should have waited to change out the fixture until after I spray painted the mirror. So this apartment comes with this really weird, small little wet bar. This thing is ugly. We got to try to make it less ugly. Are you really going to spray paint right there? Yeah, bro. You got a problem with that, bro? You might have a problem with that if you get it everywhere. I'm not going to get out of my bra. It's not my first spray painting job, bro. <laughs> I feel like this is a one person project. Wait. GTFO. <laughs> Bye, Felicio. <laughs> What's gotten into me? It must okay, be cool. the 100 degree heat. This little wet bar alcove that Jocelyn has is mirrored. One of those weird rental moments, and I think it's going to look way cooler if we try to age these mirrors with a mercury glass effect. DIY mercury, mercury glass coffee table. Fortunately, Jocelyn has a copy of a hot glue gun mess where I did a mercury glass coffee table as one of the projects. Super easy, mixing vinegar and water, which I'm going to use to spray over a coat of the spray paint. I'm gonna use gold because I love bringing in that color. We'll see it elsewhere. Then spraying the mixture of vinegar and water, you can pat it off and it gives it that sort of mottled, aged look like you see on mercury glass. Oh, rock time. Rock time. Rock time. This area rug is great. It's shaggy. It's bringing in a nice light color against the dark wood floor. We're starting to establish our neutral color palette. I'm beating you to it. <laughs> it's the rule around rug time. It's when me and Kate roll on the rugs. Wrote that song just now. Can you give me some water? I need some water. No, Joey, can you give me some water? You can't say things after I say them and then it says who? That's like the rule of life. I was the one that was thirsty and now she's asking me to get her a glass of water. So messed up. What happened to chivalry? Be chivalrous. <laughs> chivalry is hard to say. I sound like Sean Connery. No, 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 no. Are you getting water? Oh, you're over here. This is a disaster. This is a disaster. <laughs> Ow! Uh, this rug situation is a hot mess and let me tell you, hot messes aren't as fun when it's this hot. We're gonna bring in this nice lounge chair. It's kind of a mid-century style, which is a nice contrast to the little more traditional couch. You wanna push it? Just slide it, it's laminate. The sideboard's super cool, it's two-tone, it's white with wood accents. It doesn't scratch. Nice hutch. Sideboard. Does it really matter, hutch sideboard? A hutch would be like a way bigger piece of furniture, like. What's the cutoff? What's the big cutoff? It would be tall. A hutch would be like china cabinet. Because this room has to function in so many different ways, I want to give her a dining room space, so that requires a dining room table. The freaking what? I'm trying to figure out how to put together this dining room table, but like, Joey, look, a nice, large side table. Ooh, that is nice. Two of them. Do you need help? Yeah, it's... What about looking at the instructions? Oh, you don't think I've looked at the instructions? Here, you look at them and, and tell me what happens. Okay. Oh, there's a center thing. Yeah. So Already why don't you that. just line that up? Okay, go for it. You do it. I don't like your tone, but I will try. Oh, that's what it is. Go to... Yes. No. <laughs> it's really good. It's really like... I figured it out. I just figured it out. I figured it out too. I just figured it out. Thank God for me. She's got a really big flat screen TV, plus she has an articulating arm so it can be viewed at any angle. She's gonna have some great TV experiences in this room, courtesy of me. Around the dining room table, we're placing two metal chairs. Since I don't wanna use all four around the table because that'll be hard for the bed to fold down, we're gonna stack two of them outside as a plant stand for draw some succulents. And then we're gonna add two fuzzy sheepskins as the chair cushions. Whoa. 
The Mercury Glass Wet Bar looks amazing, styled with the Goodwill finds. I'm bringing in a lot of crystals into this space because crystals bring good vibes. Kate put a little picture of Jocelyn's parents on the side table with a photo album. Just some nice touches to make it feel really personal. When friends come over, they can flip through the photo album. To display these painted pots, we are placing them on these awesome, cute little plant stands, which just brings them up so that you see them right away when you walk in the front door. Another touch of nature we're bringing in is a giant stick. Like if you know me, you know I love a good stick. That sounds weird. In the middle, we're putting this really cool stone top coffee table. And a beautiful bronzy gold base. So we're playing with metallics in this room too. The coffee table looks really cute and simple with a nice gray wood tray. And our thrift store find with a succulent planted inside. I'm styling the sideboard with a mix of items, a small brass lamp, some other accessories, including a little tiny Bluetooth speaker. It's a gift for Jocelyn from her clever family, Lily and Aaron, so sweet. Jocelyn has kind of a weird entrance to the studio because she has a double door, but she only uses one of the doors to come in and out. So I figure let's use that other door for a really cool minimalist clock and a little rhino to hold her keys. I feel like I'm equally as excited. Like, what's gonna happen? I don't know. Lily and Jocelyn are coming up in the elevator right now. It's like a whole new apartment for you. Oh my gosh. You ready? Let's go. The anticipation is killing me. Oh my gosh. Okay, I don't see. I can't okay, get the I'm way. Okay, tell us when to look. I'm gonna try. Oh, oh, look, oh, look, oh, look. Okay. It's like the biggest surprise of my life. And it's your apartment. One, two, I just opened my eyes to see like all of my dreams come true, except these are dreams like I'm not even capable of having because they look so much better than anything I could ever think of. Oh my gosh, do I live here? You're such an adult. <laughs> this is crazy. Mm, I'm gonna cry. I love her. I wanted her to be happy and she's happy. Oh, oh my God. God. We made that art. Oh, I love that. People over for dinner. <laughs> and a poop? So many tables. Multiple gemstones? You could do your own crystal healing. <laughs> this does not look like a studio apartment anymore. No one would have any clue when they walk into that space that that is my bedroom living room, dining room, all in one room. Now I won't feel uncomfortable having people come over and be like, also, you're in my bedroom. Oh my goodness, look at my wet bar! <laughs> I did like a mercury glass, but with gold. It's like this vintage. Is like this is the most speechless I've ever heard, Jocelyn. <laughs> Every quarter I look in, there's like a cute plant or like a tall stick. Oh my gosh, this is so cute! I don't really have a place to sit down and maybe like do some work from home. And the little DIY ledge in the kitchen is so cute. The marble contact paper on top makes it look so luxe. You have the ah! basket! I have my favorite book, a hot glue gun, yes! Oh, this is so cute. cute. That's adorable. Look at my light! It's your little breakfast. I know. Oh, oh, and then there's the patio too. There's more? It's a set of four with these chairs, and those are extra. And also having these plants on the porch with the trees behind That's it just makes so it much. Yeah. so lush. The layout in the space is perfect because the Murphy bed actually works up and down. You don't have to move anything. I mean, I, I, I'm like serving you cocktails in your home. <laughs> Welcome! Uh, Cheers to you guys. Uh, Mr. Kate and Joey for like making my dream the miracle come true. Workers. <laughs> you guys are amazing. Well, you deserve it. This is like the <laughs> nicest thing that's ever happened to me. Aww. I think it really is. This is crazy. Like, I can't believe it. <laughs>
Honestly, these last few years in my life have been so crazy. High, high highs, low, low lows, just so many things happening. At the end of the day, I'm just even more grateful. I feel so blessed that Mr. Kate and Joey came into my life. Oh, triptychs, do you know what triptychs are? <laughs> Three of them I'm going to get. <laughs> came into my space to give me this incredible gift. And I get to live here now, it's crazy. Good job. Oh, good. Okay, that's enough. That was like whoa, 10 million. Did you get lipstick all over me? Did I get lipstick all <laughs> over you? Thanks for watching, guys. That was a really fun episode. It was so fun. Jocelyn is like, I mean, I know she's like everyone's spirit animal, but I feel like she's my spirit animal. I feel so kindred with her and doing her space was just so meaningful. And I mean, everyone deserves to live in an amazing space that really outwardly expresses who they are internally. Make sure you guys subscribe so you can come along the journey of the next OMG we're coming over. We're giving away a $10,000 room transformation if we get to a million subscribers by the end of the I'm year. I'm blown away. <laughs> I'm literally getting Blown away by that. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. That was a lot of fun. See you next time. Bye. <laughs> oh, and make sure you check out our collab video where I went on beauty break and tested out stain removers with Lily and Jocelyn. And while you're there, subscribe. Whoa! <laughs> You've watched us transform space after space, and now it's your turn. If we get to one million subscribers by the end of the year, one lucky subscriber is gonna win a $10,000 room transformation in your very own episode with Mr. Kate. Kate. Not only that, but for every 100,000 subscribers we add by the end of the year, we are giving $1,000 to a charity that helps those in need find homes. If we get to one million subscribers by the end of this year, this could be you. Ah! It's perfect. Oh my God. Oh. All it takes is going to youtube.com backslash Mr. Kate and clicking one small button. So join our family of creative weirdos and subscribe to help make a difference in the lives of others and a chance to have your dream space realized with Mr. Kate. Oh.